Hi, my name is Jerome M. Hoff. I live in Palm Springs, California. I work as a spiritual life coach and as a career coach. I grew up in the Roman Catholic Church and as a young boy had an affinity for all things spiritual. I was fascinated by the church, fascinated by the mass. I was an altar boy. Uh, when I was in college, I became a youth minister and a music minister in the church. And then as I grew into my identity as a gay man, um, like so many other members of the LGBTQ plus community, I found that there really wasn't a place for me um, in the church if I was going to be my full authentic self. In 1992, I was watching the Oprah Winfrey show and Marianne Williamson was her guest and Marianne was on uh, to promote her book, A Return to Love. And one of the things she said really just struck me as a profound truth. She said, if all of us as a human species, if all of us agreed that cancer had no power over us, it would just disappear, it would be gone. And then she said, if AIDS, if we as a collective uh, people agreed that AIDS had no power over us, it would have to go back to the hell from whence it came. And I was just really moved by that because I believed it to be just a profound truth. And I worked at a bookstore at the time, and so I picked up a copy of her book, A Return to Love, and I read it for the first time in probably 1993. And, you know, it spoke to me, but it really didn't land. And then in 2001, after I had lost my teaching job um, at the Catholic school where I was the music teacher, uh, under speculation that I was gay, I picked up the book again. And uh, I read... I returned love for the second time and this time it really really uh, it just landed and then in 2008 I was shopping at Aardvark Books which was a it's a used bookstore which was just around the corner from where I lived um, I was in there shopping and I saw a copy of A Course in Miracles on the shelf and I picked it up and I realized that I had been looking for it um, subconsciously so I took it home and I began reading. And that really powerful introduction that talks about, uh, this is a course in miracles, it's a required course. And then it talks about, um, it doesn't aim to teach the meaning of love for that's beyond what can be taught. Um, but it does help us to remove barriers to love. And then it said the opposite of love is fear, but that which is all encompassing has no opposite. And then, of course, uh, the premise of nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists, herein lies the peace of God. Just really, something in me opened up. It was just really profound. And then the first uh, line of the text, there's no order of difficulty in, in miracles. Um, in those moments of reading that for the first time, I knew um, that I was being held by God I knew that God loved me fiercely and that I knew who God was. And the reason I knew who God was was because God lived in me. Um, and as I've studied the Course more and more, I've realized that there really is no separation between me and God and between me and every other person on the planet. And so uh, the Course in Miracles has become my spiritual path and um, I love to study it. I love to uh, share it with other people. And I am just so grateful to the Foundation for Inner Peace uh, for being the stewards of the course and for um, making sure it uh, is out there in the world. So thank you.